Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing my January beauty boxes. We have Birchbox, Ipsy, BoxyCharm, and Glossy Box. So if you want to see what I got this month, then keep on watching. This is January's Birchbox. I think it's so cute. I love the little art on it. Um, let's just get into the box. The first thing in here is this really bright yellow paper. New Year, New Perspective, Birchbox Times Self. So... I didn't mean to throw that, but okay. Oh, I see quite a few things in here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, more than usual. Um, I'm gonna start off with this first because I think it has like a matching product to it. This is the R & Co Oblivion Clarifying Shampoo and the Oblivion Restorative Gel Conditioner. This comes in a little bottle and this is kind of just like those little paper ripoff, not ripoff. Well, I mean, depends how you look at it. <laughs> You know what I mean. But yeah, it's a shampoo and conditioner, which um, I'm actually all out of shampoo. So that's great. I will be definitely using this. I feel like I've gotten something from this company before. I believe the full size of these are $24 and the bonus is the conditioner. So technically that was a six product as a bonus. Thank you, Birchbox. Next thing we have in here is by Aero. This is the Endure Water Resistant Mascara. Aqua Resistant. I think I've talked about how I do like little samples of mascaras. That's how I found my favorite Holy Grail mascara. So who knows? Maybe I'll find something that I love even more one day. This is full size of this is $20, which this is not. It's a deeply pigmented water resistant mascara. Won't budge even during a workout. Is Birchbox trying to tell me something? A workout, huh? Mm-hmm. Next thing in here, I'm really excited about actually, this is by Sunday Riley, it's the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. I've heard a million and one people talking about these products on this line, and I've kind of been scared to try it because a lot of people say that it actually breaks them out really, really badly. So I don't know how I'm gonna react. Then again, there's people who are like, oh my god, it's holy grail, it changed my skin forever. Like, who do you listen to? Deeply exfoliate for clarity, radiance, and younger looking skin visibly brightens the appearance of dark spots. I do have a lot of dark spots and scars, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to give this a try and see how I like it. Fingers crossed. Next thing we have in here... Oh, if you guys have watched my other unboxings, you know this is like my foe because I cannot pronounce this for the life of me. I have struggled with this many of times. So I'm pretty sure I've gotten this before. This is by Aven. I'm gonna just call it a Ven. Um, mask appeals, wait, hold on, that's not the English one. Soothing Moisture Mask. Fragile dehydrated skin, apply a thick layer, remove excess with a cotton pad after 15 minutes. So I haven't actually tried these. I feel like I have them, but I haven't tried them yet. So maybe I will give this a chance. I've actually been hearing a lot about a Ven lately and I want to give it a try. The last thing we have in here is by Juliet Has a Gun, and I know what this is. This is a perfume sample, but I'm familiar with this because I actually, I own the full size of this that I actually bought from Birchbox because I got a sample of this years ago, probably like over a year ago. I, I don't remember when exactly, but I loved it so much that I went and I bought the full size. These are not cheap, but these smell so good. It's a very clean and fresh smell. This is apparently like the base of all perfumes without any additional fragrances to it. So it's a very clean, fresh smell. I don't know what it is, but I, I believe if I'm not mistaken, these are like hypoallergenic. So if you're really sensitive to perfumes, you might like these a lot. The full size version of this perfume is 100 to $135. This particular one is in the mmm dot 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 uh, smell. Mine is the not a perfume is what I'm talking about. So this is a little bit different, I just noticed. So I'm gonna spray this on the paper and give it a sniff. Hello? Oh, mmm. <gasps> Mmm, I like this too. Great. <laughs> Sweet mix of vanilla, orange blossom, and sandalwood. Oh my god, I love sandalwood. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Hmm. This is everything in January's Birch Box, and I'm actually pretty happy about it. There's a lot of things in here that I know I'm gonna use, some things I've been wanting to try, or things I desperately need, like shampoo. I have none. Next we have January's Ipsy Glam Bag and this one's bag is like this metallic blue mesh bag. 
it's okay I've seen better bags before and actually this came in the little packing bag and I guess these two products they didn't fit inside of the bag so they put it on the outside these are two sheet masks I believe are these sheet masks I don't know I don't think they're sheet masks I think they're actually just uh, the mask mush in there that you put all over your face this is by love recipe aloe and acai berry mask I do like a mask so I'm gonna give these a try the cartoons on these are actually so cute the girls like beating up the guy here and this one the guys like apologizing with flowers <laughs> I don't know what that means exactly next thing we have in here is by the balm and it's another one of those tiny little eyeshadow no what is this this is a bronzer um this is the Bahama Mama bronzer I've actually been wanting to buy the full size of this that's what it looks like that looks like a hula as well from benefit but I don't know how well that's going to work as a bronzer because it's so small, so my brush is probably going... I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really like these little things that often because I don't end up using them. Um, but if you do have these, you can depot them. So that's what you guys told me, and it was a great idea. So thank you. Next thing we have in here is a makeup brush. This is by Butte Basics. I have gotten something from them before. I remember because it has like a little divot where your fingers go. And I remember like a smaller eyeshadow brush like that. So this is kind of like an angled contour blush, whatever you want to do with it type of brush. It's not, it's not really flimsy actually. It's pretty like hard and dense, but it's soft. Like the bristles are not pokey, which is great. And you can never have enough brushes. Okay, next thing in here we have is by Naked Cosmetics. And I'm actually very familiar with this brand. Um, my first eye mask that I went to, I might have been like four years ago. I bought a tower. They're like two stackable towers of these eyeshadows. And I use them so much. I love them. They're beautiful, super pigmented. This one is like a really pretty champagne-y golden soft bronze. It's in Desert Sunset. I just kind of stopped using them because... I don't know, pigments aren't for everyone and it was just like harder to use and a little bit more messy. But they are beautiful nonetheless. I'm gonna open this up to swatch. This is a very pretty color. Look how pigmented that is. And I, oh god, I just dumped a bunch on me. I'm going to do on the back. Oh, honey. Look how beautiful that is. That would make a gorgeous highlight. Might be a little bit dark on my skin tone, but anybody who's darker than me can definitely wear that as a highlighter. And it looks like we're at the very last product. This is by Pretty Woman. This is a nail polish. Uh, this looks like a full-size product. That's awesome. It's in the shade I'm Not a Ballerina. Please be a pastel pink. Oh, and it is. Um, this is actually kind of like a more lavender, cool tone baby pink, which I really like, actually. I want to... I have nothing on my nails right now and I want to paint my nails really really badly. I'm gonna do my thumb real quick. I really like this color. I did about one coat. It's pretty opaque which is great because usually like really light pastel -y colors like this you have to go over it like two three times but you can get away with one but I'm definitely gonna let that dry and put another coat and possibly paint all my nails today because I... I need it. I desperately need it. So these were all the products in my Ipsy bag, which is great. Brushes are always useful. This pigment is absolutely beautiful. I always use masks. This I'm not too fond of, and the nail polish, bomb. I'm really, really happy about it. Oh, so pretty. Next up, we have January's BoxyCharm, and as usual, there's a link down below where you can sign up if you are interested. It is an affiliate link. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. If you do, thank you so much. My hand is on this because they, for some reason, put my address sticker on the front which I don't know why, but this box is actually really stuffed, like it's bulging out, so I'm very curious to see what's in here. First thing in here is by English Laundry, and this is Pour Femme, which I'm pretty sure this is a perfume. It's quite, ooh, it's a rollerball perfume with a little ribbon that you pull and then the perfume is going to pop out. Um, this is really cool. It has like a little pink clear ombre to it. Please let it smell good. This is really heavy too. I feel like this is a very large... <gasps> it's a spray! It's not a rollerball. I'm so happy right now. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not wearing anything right now, so let's spray it on the arm. Ooh. <laughs> Don't talk right after you spray. Just let the... Let the fumes settle. I wonder if the card will help me elaborate on the scents because I'm not very good at that. The This is a full-size product. It's $25. Smelling fresh, sophisticated. That's it. 
That's all it says. So I'm not sure what the notes of this exactly is, um, but it smells really, really nice. And I'm very happy that it's a spray because you know, you like to spray your whole self with it. You don't want to just put like a little roller on your arm. You want it to last on your clothing as well. So when people hug you, they're like, damn, you smell good. Next thing in here is by Gorge, Gorge. And this is a all make your face radiant Conjac sponge. And this is one of those really hard sponges. Like this is really, really hard. Apparently when you wet it, it becomes very squishy. It's enriched with protein, carbohydrate, iron, phosphorus, copper, zinc, vitamin A, E, D, B1, B2, B6, B12, C, and folic acid. And it's good for sensitive skin types as well. Deep cleansing, pH balanced sponge can be used throughout the face, neck, and even the delicate under eye area. It's made from konjac root. Oh, so it's a root. So this is basically like a vegetable. <laughs> okay, I'm excited to use this. That's fun. Next thing we have in here is by So Susan, and this is a fan brush. I do have one other one from Real Techniques. This is full size. It's $18.95, and it's really pretty, actually, because I don't know if you can tell, but the bar is like a dark gray. and has like gold accents to it. It's very flimsy. Like, this is like a very soft, flimsy brush. It's not stiff at all, so I know that could be a good thing or a bad thing. It feels really nice, so that, that's a good sign. And the last few things in here are in bubble wrap, so I'm gonna take them out. Ooh! This is by Pure Cosmetics. It's a mineral glow bronzing powder in the shade Mineral Glow. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting. I thought there was different shades on it, but that's what the box looks like. I don't think I've really tried anything from Pure Cosmetics before, and there's actually a little paper in here for a discount code off of Pure for 25% off, which is awesome too. This is what the compact looks like. Nice full-size product. This is, what is this? Hello. $25. It doesn't look like it's like full-on matte. It has like a more satin finish to it, but it's not sparkly. Let me swatch on the back of my hand. They feel very nice. Can you can you see the color? It's very soft. It doesn't look too orangey. Um, I'm definitely gonna give this a try. Who doesn't love bronzers? I know I do. And the very last thing in here is Vintage by Jessica Liebskind. Liebskind. I'm not gonna try. This is a highlighter, double chocolate, diamond, and rose cord. This is full size, $35. Hello? Did somebody say highlighter? Where do you open this from? I'm really excited. So it's gonna be like a highlighter duo. Ooh. So that is what the packaging looks like. Ooh la la. Look at this. So this is more, This I'm assuming this is the rose quartz and this is the chocolate diamond. The moment of truth, guys. We are going in. Let's do rose quartz first. They feel very nice, very soft and buttery. Ooh. <gasps> Oh yes, oh yes. Do you do you see this? That's so pretty. And now I'm gonna swatch chocolate diamond below it. Ooh, it's actually not even that dark. It's kind of like a pearly champagne shade. I really like those. I'll definitely do close up so you guys can see better because I know highlights are really hard to see from far away in my lights. But this is gorgeous. I'm very happy about this. Yay! I love BoxyCharm. So this was everything in my BoxyCharm. I'm actually so excited. This is like one of my favorite boxes I've gotten. I'm like really hyped right now. Bronzer, highlighter, highlighting, brush, a perfume, and this really cool sponge. I'm a very happy camper right now. And lastly, we have January's Glossy Box. And I've kind of drawn and written all over this because they have this uh, giveaway going on right now where me, along with other people, if you post your New Year's resolutions on your box and post them on Instagram, you can win a iPad. And I'm like, I'm down. I want to win an iPad. So yeah, that, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I wrote, make big things happen and get fit. Because girl needs to stop eating french fries. ASAP. Anyways, let's get into the January Glossy Box. As usual, they have like the cutest little wrapping in here. First thing in here I see is a sponge, another sponge. This is the Daily Concepts Exfoliating Body Scrubber with Smart Technology. This is clinically allergy and dermatologist tested. This is the mild between gentle, mild, and vigorous. Perfect for travel and all skin types. I'm very curious how this feels. I want to open this. Mm. Oh goodness, this is a hefty, 
Ugh. I swear there's an easier way to open this and I'm just struggling here. <laughs> okay, thank God we got it open. So this is what this sponge looks like. It is not too rough and it's not too soft. This is $5. Interesting. Do you use this multiple times or is it disposable? Let me see. The label has an indicator that fades when it's time to replace your body scrubber. Oh, replace me when writing fades. So there's like the little tag on it that has writing. And if that fades, it's time to replace it. I think that's freaking cool. Five bucks. Not too bad. Cool. I kind of needed a new loofah anyways. Yay. I feel like my boxes this month are just really helping me out because I've run out of so many things and they're just fulfilling my needs. Next thing we have in here is by AG Hair Care. This is a cleansing cream foam free hair wash. Yay, another shampoo. Um, I'm so excited. The full size of this is $24, which I don't think this is full size. No, the full size is 12 ounces and this is about two ounces. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna use that too because I need it. And I really like the packaging on this, the cute little flowers. I think those are peonies. Maybe. I don't know. It's cute. Next thing we have in here is Olution. Olution. Mm, I don't know these names people come up with. This is the I Love Eye Contour Anti-Dark Circle and Puffiness Antioxidant. 100% natural. Organic 65 ingredients. Okay. $35 for the full size and the full size is 0.5 ounces. What is this? Are you full size? Yes, it is. So this is a full size product and it's about 40 bucks. Damn, okay. Eye creams are great. I'm currently using my Benefit one, but I'm gonna give this a try as well. It feels really, really nice on the skin. I'm not really smelling anything. I still smell my perfume, which smells amazing. I have had a lot of dark circles lately, and I don't know why, so if you're gonna help me, then we're gonna be best friends. Next up, we have a product from La Theorie des Volcans Paris. Noir, Eterne, Eterna... Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is a face scrub, and that's all I really need to know. Why is everything always in a different language, is my question. Por qué? This is vegan, and it has no parabens in it. It's 90.6% natural. I don't know why that was funny. Anyways, so let's see what it looks like. That. Is it, like, creamy? Oh. Ooh, I like that. Oh my god, it's changing colors. It was white, and now it turned gray. Is it because my hand is dirty? No. No, 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 no. Ha, 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 ha. Hold on, hold on. This is magic. Going from pink to gray. <laughs> Almost is, <laughs> if it's by magic. It answered my questions. This volcanic paste removes impurities, redness, and dense, damned, dead skin cells to showcase clear skin. Yes. You can use it as a daily cleanser or a purifying scrub mask. I'm so excited right now. Hmm, I was wondering, I'm like, what is that? <laughs> that doesn't look right. My hand feels very soft right now. We're down to the very last product. This is Secret Flush Soothing Cream Blusher and Lip Stain Duo. This is by the company Universal Beauty Cosmetics and the full size of this is $20. And I believe this is full size. Are you full size? Maybe, possibly, I don't know. I don't really wear cream blushes often, so this is what it looks like. Packaging is very cute, kind of reminds me of the Topshop makeup, maybe. Oh, okay, wow, I almost killed it. So this kind of looks like NARS's Orgasm Blush, which is very, very pretty. I really like that. Let's swatch on the back of my hand. That is what the color looks like. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so you can wear this as a lip product too if you don't like cream blushes. It blends beautifully. As you blend it, it's not like super shearing out where you can't even see it anymore. Ooh, I like this. It has like a luminous luminosity to it. Do you see it? It's pretty. I wouldn't wear this on my cheeks per se because I wear like full coverage and then powder and then you, when you put creams, it just it doesn't, it doesn't work well for me for some reason. I don't know. If you use a lot of cream-based blushes and stuff with a full coverage foundation and powder, let me know how you make it work. That is pretty much the very last product in here. I hope that you guys enjoyed my unboxing. I love doing these as usual. They're a lot of fun to me. It's like Christmas. You just open boxes and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jesse. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. What if I made a video just sitting here painting my nails? That's it. What it is good for absolutely nothing. <laughs> it's a hard on life for us. That kind of went, it's a hard on life for us. Somebody alert the media, I'm wearing a glossy lip. <gasps> 
Sounds like somebody did alert the media because my phone just went off. <laughs> okay. So, ow. You know what I just realized? The freaking tassels for my sweater are missing. Where the heck are they? I'm pretty sure my laundry ate them. Why am I just noticing this? What the heck? <laughs> I'm on the last season of Charmed. It's gonna be really hard to part with. 